Being a girl must be so easy. All you do is cry all day and text 15 different guys. 143,000 people agree with me. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> My friend, listen. Some people are, of which girls are, girls are people, girls are humans. <laughs> Some people really enjoy splitting their time up with different people that they trust. It could be a few people. A few people might see every side of someone, or many people may only see one side of a person. If someone hangs out with 15 different guys in a day, in a week, and all you get to see is someone at their most emotional extreme, maybe they've trusted you enough that with you, they can cry, they can heal. And this is how you treat that trust. This is how you treat that honesty, by trying to put them on blast. The heck are you trying to tell people? <laughs> you kind of, you told on yourself, huh, didn't you? <laughs> uh, what's up, my bearded and weirdos? <laughs> One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash not how girls work. A very silly subreddit, as we can tell by the first post, <sighs> of a bunch of people not realizing that maybe ladies are people too. <laughs> I think that's the quickest and easiest summary we can come up with, I think. Maybe? <laughs> All right, let's get started. I guess. <laughs> a boy's keyboard? Quirtuopads different It's a normal keyboard, okay. A girl's keyboard. Mock. <laughs> Mock. 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 Mock? Okay. <laughs> donuts for wives. Don't, donuts, don't, don't for wives. Don'ts for what? Oh. Boo. I honestly think women can smell another woman around. Jesus, they aren't dogs. Finally, some semblance of sanity. <laughs> women are not dogs. It's an odd thing I never thought I'd need to say. <laughs> a woman offering you her scented lotion is a subconscious mating strategy to signal to other women you've been claimed. Fam, maybe it's a sign that you need to smell nice. <laughs> maybe she's sharing with you something that she enjoys quite a bit. I personally really like the smell of vanilla. If I wanted other people around me to smell like vanilla, it's not because I want everyone else to know that they've been claimed. <laughs> it's just because I really like the smell. Maybe she just wanted you to smell like plums and strawberries. It's not so other women are like, <gasps> he smells like plum and strawberries. That's Jessica's smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out, man. She dyed her hair red. You know what that means. She's, I, I don't know, following your logic, man. Uh, looking for a date? No, bro. She likes red hair. She's depressed. She's going through a bad breakup. You got all that from her red hair? And or she's suffering from emotional trauma. Yeah, don't you know anything about women? <laughs> oh, is that the only reason that people dye their hair? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Some people just really like having very eccentric hair. This is a very weird opinion to have, and you should feel weird about it. You shouldn't feel proud enough to tell your friends that this is your opinion. <laughs> Finger waggle of shame. <laughs> when searching for a wife, watch out for these visual red flags. Obese, no self-respect. Colored hair, attention-seeking or depressed like we learned from the last post. Tattoos, spiritual corruption. Often smirks <laughs> oh no look out for women who smile uh. <laughs> arrogant droopy eyes drug user or manic each tells a story <laughs> It must be so weird living in your own fan fiction. <laughs> Especially one where you're like, the butthole. I don't know. This is so weird. <laughs> Healthy people come in many different shapes and sizes. There are some people who color their hair not for attention-seeking purposes. Tattoos, spiritual corruption. <laughs> Here, I've done a very quick Google search for you with monks with tattoos. <laughs> Do you see any spiritual corruption here? Hmm? What a weird metric you have for women. <laughs> uh, hypergamy means women who are hypergamy. Hyperga Hypergamy means women who are educated have ruined their chances of a happy marriage. Hypergamy. Hypergamy. Hy what the fudge is this? <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? <laughs> what? She won't go any lower. Women seek higher status men, top 1% floor. Yes, it, what? It gets... Uh, Reject it, low chance. <laughs> I'm very confused about what hypergamy is. I don't. <laughs> when I first read it, I thought it was like, like a hyperactive grandma, like hypergamy. You know. <laughs> I'm still confused. I'm. 
Dear men, women are always evaluating your masculinity like a radar sending waves. They're observing you even from a distance as to what kind of man you are. Play along to your advantage. What? <laughs> I love that so many of these posts adhere these magical superpowers to all women and say, Oh yes, they have a secret instinctive sense that makes them see things that fellas you cannot. <laughs> I need a bra. Oh, hey, Ariel, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. Whoa, bro, so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is how even underwater ladies work. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sorry, ladies disagree. Fashion isn't about feeling or looking good, but about communication of your intentions. Boats are a perfect medium. You know what you are doing. Don't be coy. The following photos will show you what I mean. Some are about showing elegant style, others are about adult fun time. Okay. Uh. Shoes? Longer shoes? Even longer fuzzy shoes? Long shoes? <laughs> are all boots not just long shoes? <laughs> Women have been completely brainwashed to put the politics of socialism, feminism, and careerism ahead of marriage. Mm. <laughs> Why should marriage be put first ahead of having a job? You know people need to eat, right? <laughs> Girls who will ruin your life. Number one, Honda drivers. Any woman who drives a Honda is trouble. Number two, no, it's fine when girl's mad. Th uh, yeah, that's also bad. Number three, Jessica's. All of Jessica's okay, not just the one that hurt me. White toes. I I don't really know why I wrote that down, but it's also on the list. Girls who sleep with Netflix on. That's just a waste of electricity. Number six, Gemini's. Anyone born in the months of May and June. They're trouble. <gasps> Nursing majors wanting to take care of others. That's so just not good <laughs> and on the theme of being wasteful girls who take 45 minute showers oh just the worst <laughs> number nine fave color is black because black is a shade not a color <laughs> number 10 girls who steal from your plate oh <laughs> Hondas are an economical vehicle, aren't they? They're just like a good vehicle to get from point A to point B. Why are you hating on all Honda drivers? It's so weird. And also, no, it's fine. Maybe someone doesn't want to share all of their emotions with you. What the heck did Jessica do? Okay. And what, what, what is number four? What is, what is that? What is this one? What is number four? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Avoid getting bitten by any organism. Get ready for the best humor of all jokes ever. Spider, spider man. Cat, cat, woman. W w wife, m man. Wife, man, man, wife, man, wife. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I've been bitten by a dog before. I did not turn into a werewolf. I've been bitten by a cat before. Not to, people have been bitten by sharks. You don't see them turn into shark people, do you? Other than Shark Boy, I don't. I honestly don't know the origin of this one. But <laughs> come on. What is your personality? Comment your choice. Hot. Oh, that's my. That's that's my personality. <laughs> Blonde. Ah. Uh. Schoolgirl, lipstick, lipstick is your personality. Virgin, oh, innocent, cheerleader, babysits, at home, I'm alone. Wait, are these all meant to be one person? Hot, blonde, schoolgirl, lipstick, virgin, innocent, cheerleader, babysits, at home, I'm alone. Comment your personality below. Are you confused or befuddled? <laughs> if you want to get checked, you've got to train to failure. Hey, can I grab your number? Oh, oh she, uh, she said no, yes. No, she no, she 100%, no, no, and, no, then, and then she said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Girls supposed to looking up to boys not fight to get respect. Real man is the fighter who will never let women to fight. Now be cows. Now be cows. Gentleman lifestyle is forgot for for Gatoni. Girls have to fight for their rights, and this is wrong. I hold the history men was fighting to protect women in the times were okay. Now we are in worst social condition ever and picture above if and perfect is uh, ow! Uh. What do you mean a real man is someone who wouldn't let women make their own choices? What do you mean gentleman lifestyle things used to be better for women in history? Have you read history? <laughs> Have you read even recent history? What the fudgery? What is this in reference? How? How did you come to this conclusion? And how can we help you change? <laughs> ah. <laughs> men to the left, because women are always right. <laughs> <laughs> Boomers have very few jokes. This is one of them. Not a great one, but it's one that they enjoy.
Hazardous material data sheet. Element? Women. Symbol. Oh, discoverer Adam. Oh, come on. Accepted as 55 kilograms, but known to vary from 45 to 225. What are you? Physical properties. Body surface normally covered with a film of powder and paint. Boils at absolutely nothing. Freezes for no apparent reason. This doesn't seem very scientific, now does it? <laughs> Boomers should not be allowed to make stickers. I've decided. <laughs> Boomers, you've had your fun. No more. Nope. Nope, get out of the pool. No more fun for you. <laughs> a female needs. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. You should never start a sentence like that. <laughs> Decisions to obey. Guidance to follow. Affection to feel value. Protection to feel safe. Strictness to grow well. Rules to behave correctly. Yeah, this seems like the perspective someone would have towards a pet. Not, not a human. And, and if this is a perspective you maintain towards women... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Bad! <laughs> no! The only way to get a girl to like you who has already rebuffed you is to date her superior. This is relatively easy since women hate each other and are very insecure. If you have fun and a great life, she'll be stewing on what she missed out. Then she'll be into you, but the good news is you'll have already moved on. And that's the book I wrote. That's the story that I wrote. Top 10 reasons why men prefer guns. You can trade an old 44 for a new 22. You can have one gun for home and another gun for the road. A friend would let you try out his gun if you asked him. Your primary gun doesn't care if you keep another gun on the side. A gun will leave. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of repetition in here, but I get it. I, I understand what you're trying to say. You're very silly and you've watched a lot of movies. <laughs> Polyamory exists. If this is what you want, you don't have to go this weird time toxic route of trying to get there but like use open communication i know speaking is hard and sharing your emotions might not come to you naturally but like work on it it's like a muscle you can train yourself to be better at communicating please <laughs> women go to work eight hours and calls it a day if any more than eight hours they don't have that energy to stay on their feet men on the other hand we will go above and beyond every day and still have the energy to do extra stuff women will never be on the same level as men are paid the same we just built them it's all because we have more testosterone than y'all. It's all science. Fellow, my friend, this weird societal expectation that all men should absolutely work themselves to the bone every single day just to prove their self-worth is a very toxic opinion to hold, and it will not help you grow in the future. It does not benefit anyone except the employers that don't want to pay you for working more than eight hours a day. This is not a good attitude to have, and those who have the self-worth and self-acknowledgement enough to take themselves home and recognize that, yes, once I've worked a full work day i have the right to go home they should be acknowledged as making a healthy decision for themselves and take care of themselves and focus on things like personal growth and hobbies and maybe that's a healthier thing to do and something that perhaps you should consider doing as well as spending a little bit more time with other people with differing opinions to help change your mind on some of this because this is weird this is a weird thing to say and it was weird that you were comfortable saying it publicly <laughs> this is an opinion that should probably change for a whole bunch of reasons <laughs> damn girl your butt is enormous i have a thing for bold men like you <laughs> here's the thing get the away from me <laughs> yes <laughs> one wholesome post to finish this off <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really, really, really liked that. <laughs> All right, my beardists and weirdos, that was our dive into r slash not how girls work. Because that was a thing that all of you kept asking for. Because we covered it a few months ago, and you thought I should do it again. And I did it. Again. For you. So I hope you liked it. <laughs> all right, my beardists and weirdos, this was a really silly one. I hope you like it. If you did, feel free to say hi. Uh, I also have a second channel. By the way, I did a bunch of stuff with Salty recently. I think you should check it out. And also, I stream on Twitch. You're more than welcome to say hi. <laughs> also, don't tell anyone, but I started a TikTok. All right, my beardos and weirdos, we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Oh, you almost have it. You almost have it. Oh, hello there. Oh. No, not hello. quite. <sighs> Hi, Ray. Guess who's back? Hi. It's Lady OT. It's everyone. Lady OT. Oh, it's Lady OT. Oh my gosh! Welcome back, everyone. Will you, will you sign my ghost book? <laughs> Of course I'll sign your ghost book, sweetheart. That's fine. That's fine, darling. Okay. So, today we're going to be hunting ghosts. Welcome in, everyone. Yes, Lady OT! Okay, all right. Got a little head camera. Got a little head camera there, too. Do I have hard tune on? What if I do it like this? Nope, that was too much. Too far. Should have known. Wait, is it?